All right, I've got some cast iron skillet pizzas that we're gonna be making for that post-Christmas, post-New Year's Eve day. And shh, photographer John Steinbaugh, he's gonna share his world-famous meatball recipe. Let's get cooking with style. The first thing you're probably asking yourself is where can I get some pizza dough? Well, I pick mine up at Trader Joe's, but your local pizzeria probably will sell you some. Let the dough come up to room temperature or almost that, and it's really simple. You just take the ball and you press around the edges and down the center, and like that, flip it over. And all we're trying to do is flatten this out just a little bit because we're going to be putting it not on a pizza plate or cooking stone in the oven, we're gonna be putting it in that cast iron dish that we brought it out of the oven with. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that I preheat my cast iron so then that way when it goes in, it's already starting to cook because if we wait for the cast iron to get hot in the oven, the top will already be well, it'll already be cooked. All right, here we go. Up, we're gonna go up and down. One more time, up and down. Okay, that's that's the pernicano in me. I used to work there a long, long time ago. Okay, so we've got the perfect size right there. I've got my pizza pan here. I'm gonna leave a little extra flour on and I'm gonna put it right in the pan and I'm just gonna make it mold into the sides like so. I'm gonna leave it a little high and then I'm doing a barbecue chicken pizza with some cilantro. So we're gonna use barbecue sauce and we'll get that all the way up on all the sides. And the cheese that I'm using here is I'm using a mozzarella and smoked Gouda. Gouda by itself does not melt that well. So that's why we do the mozzarella. Gonna take the mozzarella and Gouda, sprinkle it all around and let it get up on the sides a little bit because that crispiness is something that I think everyone really enjoys. And when you put it up on the sides, it's gonna shrink and pull into the center. And then this is some leftover chicken that I had. So I saved that and I sliced it nice and thin. We'll put that over the top like so. Great way to use up uh, leftovers and make it uh, elevated into the next level. And then some red onions over the top of that. And you can put in as much or as little as you like. The cilantro will come on when we take this out of the oven. Let's pop this bad boy in there. Oven preheated, 450. In goes the barbecue chicken. I've got two caprese's as well because we've got a big hungry crew here. And now for a special edition of Cooking with Styles. John, come on in here. This is John Steinbach. Yeah. That's <laughs> All me. right, so this is a family favorite, right? This is something we do every New Year's Eve. And this I love because it's easy. Tell me what we're doing here, John. We're doing meatballs. Okay, in they in go. In the crock pot. In the crock pot. And then just chili sauce and green jelly. It's that okay. simple. Is that, that's it, huh? That's it. Equal so, parts, pretty much. Okay, equal parts. And then we just turn this on high. And what do we do? We just kick back and relax. Turn and... it on high, start watching football, and wait for them to heat up. Okay. So I'm gonna push that down, get the lid on top, make sure it's on high. Stir it every like every 30 minutes or so, and you're good. The the proof will be in the taste. It's it's awesome. Okay, I'm I believe you. The kids love it. Make sure you check underneath to see if the crust is crispy, which it always is. But we'll just slide this onto this cookie sheet. And now we'll put this all together. And don't forget that that cast iron skillet is super hot. If you don't have one of these, you can use a knife. We're going sixes here, so. And then you can serve this up for yourself or you can serve it up for the crew, like so. Take a little bit of cilantro, sprinkle that over the top. You wanna to put the cilantro on at the end because the heat from the pizza will make the oils come out. And then of course, we've got our little margarita pizza here with a little Parmesan cheese on top. So those are some of my ways to uh, kind of get past the Christmas holiday, but I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how these meatballs, John Steinball's famous family meatballs turned out. John. These are damn good. Mm. We'll have that recipe on Cooking with Style. So, cast iron pizzas made at home, elegant, easy. The whole family can get involved if you'd like this recipe and John's recipe as well. 
go to our website, cbsa.com slash recipes. That's cooking with styles. Mm -hmm.